I think the interesting thing about pursuing the arts is that you are always coming to terms with the fact that your true creative potential is not necessarily going to make you money. And there are always ways to modify what you do to make it marketable, but there's always that feeling hovering over any sort of artistic environment, which is that unless you get incredibly lucky, you're most likely not going to be able to do exactly what you want to do. My name is Zoe Violet Meyer. I am a first year at Hampshire College. I am studying a lot of different artistic pursuits. I am interested in studio arts. Um, I do also like to paint. I am really interested in film, and I really like creative writing with poetry and short stories. I'm Caitlin. I'm a senior in the sociology department. I hope to work in a nonprofit after graduation. My name is Bridget and I go to Smith College, and I'm a sophomore who is a double major in dance and neuroscience. My name is Augusta Lord. I'm a UMass student. I'm a uh, mathematics major with a concentration in actuarial science and a minor in education. And my graduation year is 2016. I'll be graduating in May. in um, a class full of people who really want to pursue what the class subject is about. That's when I've experienced the most um, advice on how to find a career or how to make a living off of what you do. And I think that a lot of that comes with a mutual wish for networking. <laughs> um, that's something that was very helpful at my old school and that they did try to provide for people in the humanities is um, meeting alums who are working on the same sort of um, projects or the same art forms or the same mediums. You're all kind of looking to make the same connections. The advising that I've received at UMass has been excellent, much better than the advising at UMass Dartmouth. The advising I got at Mass Bay Community College was also excellent, but they are not prepared to handle the amount of students that they have. Things I liked about the advising with my major is um, the availability and the willingness to work with you to try and fit things that you want to do into your schedule. Classes that I took that I liked I took a radical movements class that I thought was very interesting. Uh, I also took a couple classes focusing on the modern day family and its evolution, which I also found interesting and very relevant. A major change I would make with incoming students and people deciding to be a part of the major to help them understand from the beginning what they can do with their degrees, as opposed to leaving it as a kind of open-ended major. Um, I wish I had more direction going in with what I could do with my degree. I feel like I would be in a better spot now. It is just such an open-ended major, especially here where you don't have to focus on one specific aspect to sociology, that um, I just find myself overwhelmed by what I can and cannot do and what I am and am not qualified for. In terms of uh, research opportunities in both fields, uh, I've definitely gotten a lot more support uh, through the neuroscience program. Smith does like a better job to facilitate um, providing those opportunities through like like the Career Development Center. Um, I think I just see like looking through like the various options. I never see any dance internships or summer programs in comparison to like all of the science programs. Ideally, I'm, I'm thinking I've thinking about like, pursuing medicine, like going into medical school or um, going and um, applying for a PhD program and pursuing neuroscience research. My pre-health tr um, tracking advisor, she's really helped me as well as my neuro advisor. They go out of their way to help you. At least what personally, like I, I don't pursue, actively pursue a lot of dance internships or opportunities like that post-grad or during school just because like that's not what I'm interested in but I've noticed that my advisor my dance advisor major advisor never e has e emailed me about suggesting like hey this is where you go to look for x y and z I hadn't really had any memorable experiences with advisors so in terms of undergraduate advising I think my freshman year I went once to like the general advising center because I had to they had resources there for me. I just was never forced to do them. 
So I like didn't have the time and or desire to pursue something like that that I didn't that I didn't feel was absolutely necessary. That's one thing that they've changed, I think, for the math kids. There are a couple required attendances now of, of advising meetings. So I ended up being a peer advisor for the Department of Math and Statistics. And I actually like spoke at a couple of them where I said, you know, a lot of this stuff happened, I feel like almost out of luck. And if I hadn't like decided on my own that it was a good idea to go to that career fair, I don't know if I would be in the position I am right now. Um, in October, actually, I accepted a job as an assistant actuarial analyst at Sun Life Financial. I think that bad reputation is sort of just like people don't really see clear connections to a job other than teaching. I feel like a lot of people treat artists as though they're naive. Oh, well, you don't understand what it's really going to be like when you get out there and it's not worth it. And I think, I, obviously, you can't understand until you do it. But I feel like it is very helpful to say, no, I understand that it's going to take a lot of risk and it's going to take sacrifice, but ultimately it's worth it for me. It is true that enrollment in the arts is dropping, and in a job market that seems to grow more competitive with each passing year, it's no surprise that parents would be encouraging their child to study engineering instead of English. But if there's one skill that studying the humanities teaches us, it is how to write, and write well. The internet is the second coming of the printing press, and never before have more people had the opportunity to share their writing with such a wide audience. Companies need content creators. They want people who can analyze the world around them and write about it in an intelligent, professional manner. And believe it or not, they're willing to pay you for it. So if you love the arts, writing, graphic design, filmmaking, etc., there are jobs out there for you. And is it worth studying the arts in college? In one word, absolutely.